Hi everyone, have you ever found yourself stuck in the endless loop of procrastination, promising to start that project, tomorrow, only to find tomorrow never comes? Well, you're not alone, today we're cracking the code to conquer procrastination once and for all. Stick around because we've got 5 proven techniques backed by research that are about to revolutionize the way you approach your to-do list. But first, let's talk about the procrastination trap we've all fallen into at some point. Welcome back to the Mode of Adlia, where we're all about mastering the art of productivity. Now procrastination, we've all been there, right? It's that sneaky, time-stealing monster that creeps into our lives and wreaks havoc on our productivity. But what exactly is procrastination, and why does it hold such a tight grip on our ability to get things done? In a nutshell, procrastination is the art of delaying tasks, especially those that require immediate attention. It's the silent killer of productivity, slowly chipping away at our time and leaving us scrambling to meet deadlines. Now, the impact of procrastination on our productivity is no joke. It's like trying to swim against the current, exhausting and, more often than not, we find ourselves further from our goals than when we started. To make this a bit more real, let me share a relatable example. Picture this, you have a major project due, and instead of diving in headfirst, you find yourself endlessly scrolling through social media, convincing yourself that you work better under pressure. So, if you've ever felt the weight of procrastination dragging you down or if you're simply looking for strategies to boost your productivity, you're in the right place. Today, we're not just talking about the problem, we're diving into the solutions. Let's explore 5 research-backed techniques that will help you conquer procrastination and reclaim control over your time. Are you ready to kick that procrastination habit to the curb? Let's dive in. Alright, let's kick things off with a game changer, the 2-minute rule. Ever heard of it? This brilliant strategy originates from productivity guru David Allen, and it's deceptively simple. The rule is this, if a task takes less than 2 minutes to complete, do it right away. Now, you might be wondering, why bother with such a short time frame? Well, that's where the magic happens. The beauty of the 2-minute rule lies in its ability to create momentum. By swiftly tackling those quick, seemingly insignificant tasks, you're not just clearing them off your plate, you're kickstarting a sense of accomplishment. It's like a mini-victory that sets the stage for more significant tasks. Imagine this scenario, you open your email, and there's a message that requires a brief response. Instead of postponing it, applying the 2-minute rule means you deal with it on the spot. You reply, archive the email, and just like that, you've scored a win. This seemingly minor action sends a powerful message to your brain, I can get things done. It's about building momentum, one 2-minute task at a time. Let's put this into perspective with a real-world example. Think about the last time you needed to make a quick call or jot down a few notes. Perhaps it was a reminder you kept postponing. With the 2-minute rule, you tackle those tasks immediately. It's the principle of embracing the small wins, and as you'll soon realize, these small wins add up to significant progress. So, next time you catch yourself thinking, oh, it'll only take a couple of minutes, use that as your cue to dive in and make it happen. The 2-minute rule is your secret weapon to break the cycle of procrastination and pave the way for a more productive day. Now, let's delve into another powerful strategy, implementation intentions. This concept revolves around more than just setting goals, it's about creating a clear plan of action. Implementation intentions are specific plans that outline when, where, and how you'll take steps toward your goals. Instead of merely saying, I'll do it, you're providing your brain with a roadmap, making the execution more likely. In the realm of goal setting, the research is crystal clear, implementation intentions are a game changer. Numerous studies have shown that individuals who use implementation intentions are more likely to follow through on their plans. It's like giving your goals a GPS system, you set the destination and map out the route, making it harder to get lost along the way. Let's break it down with a relatable example. Say you've set a goal to exercise regularly. Without an implementation intention, your plan might be vague, I'll work out more. However, with an implementation intention, it becomes specific, 
I will jog for 30 minutes in the park every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday after work. The who, what, when, and where are clearly defined, making it easier to turn your intention into action. Now, how can you apply this to beat procrastination? It's about turning your vague plans into concrete actions. Let's say you have a project due. Instead of a broad goal like I'll work on it, create an implementation intention, I will spend one focused hour on my project at the local library every day after lunch. For practical implementation, grab a pen and paper. Write down your goal and be specific about when and where you'll work on it. The more detailed, the better. This creates a mental trigger, making it easier to transition from intention to action. So, grab that pen, map out your intentions, and let's turn those aspirations into achievements. Implementation intentions are your ticket to turning procrastination into progress. Ready to take the plunge? Alright, strategy number three is a game changer for effective time management, time blocking. If you find yourself drowning in a sea of tasks with no clear direction, this technique is your lifeboat. The idea behind time blocking is simple yet profound, allocate specific blocks of time to different tasks, creating a structured and focused approach to your day. Studies consistently show that time blocking can significantly enhance productivity. It's not just about filling your calendar with appointments, it's about dedicating uninterrupted periods to particular activities. This method minimizes distractions and prevents the all-too-familiar habit of multitasking, allowing you to give your full attention to one task at a time. Imagine this, you have a project that needs completion. Instead of trying to squeeze it in between meetings or random intervals, you allocate a dedicated two-hour block to focus solely on that project. Research suggests that this concentrated effort can lead to heightened creativity, increased efficiency, and a more satisfying sense of accomplishment. Now, let's get practical. How can you implement time blocking into your daily schedule? Step 1. Identify priorities. Start by listing your most important tasks. What are the high priority items that will move the needle in your personal or professional life? Step 2. Allocate time blocks. Assign specific time blocks to these tasks. For example, if you're most alert in the morning, reserve that time for your most challenging work. Step 3. Be realistic, don't overload your schedule. Be realistic about the time each task requires. This helps avoid the stress of falling behind. Step 4. Minimize interruptions, during your time blocks, minimize interruptions. Silence your phone, close unnecessary tabs, and communicate to others that you're in focused work mode. Step 5. Evaluate and adjust, at the end of the day or week, evaluate how your time blocking worked. Adjust as needed to optimize your schedule. Time blocking is about taking control of your time rather than letting it control you. By structuring your day with purpose, you'll find yourself accomplishing more with less stress. Alright, strategy number 4 is a favorite among productivity enthusiasts, the Pomodoro Technique. This technique takes its name from the Italian word for tomato, inspired by the kitchen timer that its creator, Francesco Cirillo, used during university. Now, let's break down the Pomodoro Technique's simple yet effective structure. The Pomodoro Technique involves breaking your work into intervals, traditionally 25 minutes in length, separated by short breaks. Each of these intervals is known as a Pomodoro. After completing four Pomodoros, take a more extended break of around 15 to 30 minutes. The beauty of this method lies in its ability to harness the power of focused work in short, manageable bursts. Research supports the positive impact of the Pomodoro technique on focus and productivity. Studies have shown that the brain tends to function optimally for around 25 minutes before attention begins to wane. By incorporating regular breaks, you prevent burnout and maintain a higher level of concentration throughout your work session. Now, let's talk about finding the ideal Pomodoro duration for different tasks. Not all tasks are created equal, and some may require longer or shorter periods of focus. Here are some tips. Experiment with durations, start with the traditional 25-minute Pomodoro and adjust as needed. For more creative or complex tasks, you might find that a longer Pomodoro of 40 or 45 minutes works better. Task complexity matters, consider the complexity of the task. 
simple, routine tasks might fit well into shorter pomodoros, while deep, analytical work might benefit from longer intervals. Listen to your productivity peaks, pay attention to your natural productivity peaks. If you tend to be more alert and focused at certain times of the day, align your pomodoros with these periods. The Pomodoro Technique is all about working with your natural rhythm and avoiding burnout. So, grab your timer, break down your tasks into manageable chunks, and let the Pomodoro Technique supercharge your productivity. Ready for more? Let's move on to our final strategy. Now, for our fifth and final strategy, we're diving into the world of accountability partnerships. Picture this, you've set your goals, you've implemented strategies, but there's one more element that can significantly boost your chances of success, having someone by your side to hold you accountable. The power of accountability partnerships in overcoming procrastination is remarkable. Research consistently shows that individuals who have someone to report their progress to are more likely to follow through on their commitments. It taps into the psychology of social support, creating a built-in system that keeps you on track. Wrap up your battle against procrastination armed with these strategies. If you found value, hit like, share, and subscribe. With that said, thanks for watching, and until next time, conquer your goals.